Hey YouTube and welcome to Tech Bump. Today we're going to test the gaming performance of a gaming laptop priced around the budget I used to put together my own MacBook eGPU setup. I've been very excited to upload this video because I had the opportunity to borrow my friend's Acer Aspire E15 gaming laptop. I've heard wonderful words about this machine and I believe it's a great entry-level laptop that will allow you to use medium settings for most games achieving near 60 to 60 FPS. Now, I say entry because it performs short of a GTX 750 Ti, a well-recommended budget graphics card for PCs. Now, for the price of that laptop, and essentially my eGPU setup, you could build a PC that performs tremendously better. But that ignores the whole point of having something mobile. We're here for portability and this is what you get. Oh, and I mentioned a giveaway in the title. Just hang on till the end, all right? I'll be sure to get back to you on that. So before I show you some graphs, I'd like for you to look over the specs of these two. Remember that these laptops sport Intel Core U-Series processors. Neither of them respect the traditional amounts of cores and threads from their desktop i5 or i7 counterparts. In all honesty, they most likely perform something like a Pentium G4560 since it has two cores and hyper-threading which provides it with four threads. In addition, my MacBook and eGPU combo is only possible thanks to Thunderbolt 1. In this comparison, I'll be using three games and one benchmarking program, two of which are more CPU dependent and the other two being more graphically intensive. Among the ones I'm using are Counter-Strike, Overwatch, Dead by Daylight, and Unigen Superposition. Starting with Counter-Strike Global Offensive, we're doing mostly medium settings with FXAA anti-aliasing disabled at a resolution of 1920 by 1080p. We're running the game on Dust 2 in deathmatch. So, for the MacBook Air early 2014 with the GTX 1050 Ti, we score an average of 126 FPS with a minimum of 87. As for the Acer Aspire E15, we score an average of 84 FPS with a minimum of 65. Now, this is easily a difference of 20 to 40 FPS at all times. And for an esports title like this, frames matter. Here we have Overwatch running on the MacBook Air eGPU and Acer Aspire E15 on the medium preset at 1080p. The average for the MacBook Air eGPU was 88 FPS, whereas its minimum was 66. For the Acer Aspire E15, we achieved an average of 51 FPS with a minimum of 41. One thing to note. The results we got for the Acer Aspire were only possible only because we had the resolution scale set to automatic, which brought it down from 100% to 79. The MacBook Air eGPU did not have that treatment. It was at 100%. Now we have Dead by Daylight. It's running on the low preset at 1080p for both devices. The average we achieved for the MacBook Air eGPU was 59, whereas its min was 42. The Acer Aspire E15, on the other hand, had an average of 30 with a minimum of, of 21. Now, I don't consider that playable, but what you can do to make it is turn down the screen resolution to 1600 by 900. And for the finale, Unigen Superposition at the default settings. Take this with a grain of salt though, because this is a rather brutal benchmark and it's not like either of these devices have the greatest graphics. So I know that the graph pretty much speaks for itself, but it doesn't mean the Acer Aspire E15 is a bad laptop. It'll perform really well for the price, but you're going to get a way more better experience using an eGPU, even on Thunderbolt 1. Now that that's done, let's talk about cost. Not everyone is going to be lucky like me in finding a coworker trying to get rid of their MacBook Air early 2014 for $200 USD. Everything else though, like the Akidio Thunder 2 and the eFreesia 120 watt power supply adapter necessary for the eGPU setup, I bought those for the full price. One exception, I got a copy of Windows 10 Pro from Kingwin for roughly $35 with buyer's protection. Now this is a nice trick to get a hold of a working cheap key without having to pay retail of $100. More on this on my how to game on a MacBook video right at the top. 
But enough about the eGPU. For just about $600, you'll get this wonderful gaming laptop bundled into one package right off the bat and working right out of the box if you choose the Acer Spire E15. You won't have to go through the trouble of boot camp like I did, but just remember how rewarding the journey is to putting together one of these bad boys. Talking about the eGPU, of course. It's a matter of preference at this point, and I'll respect what you go with, but nonetheless, I'd love to hear from all of you. So the Steam Summer Sale is literally around the corner, and I'll be awarding one of you lucky viewers with a $20 Steam gift card. These are the conditions before I select someone. I'm aiming for 100 subscribers on YouTube, 100 followers on Twitter. You can help make that happen. There will be a link to my Twitter down below in the description. Before anything starts though, go ahead and subscribe because I'll only be picking people from my subscriber list that I can publicly view. There are literally some of you that are hidden from that list, so I can't account for you, but here's what you can do. Continuing on, I want to know what you guys are going to buy with that Steam gift card, so comment that down below. I might just pick you. I'll be uploading a video in the future covering how the winner will claim their prize. So, in the meantime, good luck to you all, and I hope I'm able to reach out to more eGPU enthusiasts just like you. Thank you.